Hey everyone, welcome to Wine Dine Wine. I'm your host Eric, and tonight we are at the St. John uh, Wine Festival, the Red Cross Society. And tonight we've uh, we learned some interesting things from the guys from Saputo Cheese on their different cheese ranges and pairing them up with different wines. Um, we've got an excellent goat cheese that paired up very nice with a Sauvignon Blanc, uh, as a Sauvignon Blanc has a lot of good acidity and cuts through a lot of the tenderness of the of the goat's cheese. I'm Steve Dobbin from Saputo Foods. This is my friend Carl Augustine, who's a volunteer tonight, helping me out. We've got four cheese on the go. The first one here we have is uh, Le Cendrillon. Le Cendrillon, uh, other no, otherwise known as Cinderella in English. Mm -hmm. So Le Cendrillon, as you can see here, uh, in 2009 was the world champion. So two years ago, over 2,500 different cheese, it came out on top overall in the world. A lot of people look at it and think that it's a, it's a blue cheese, but it, when, when you open it up, that blue coloring is actually a vegetable ash. So, so a lot of people look at it and kind of, some people who aren't blue lovers shy away because they think it's a blue cheese, but it's actually a goat cheese. Uh, and like I said, it, it, it's, it's known for its uh, number one in the world ranking. Here to uh, this one called uh, Le Chevre de Neige, otherwise known as uh, Snow Goat with a Chipotle flavor. So it would have like a cream cheese texture as it goes in and then at the end it kind of gives a, a chipotle spice. So it's a new product we have, also comes out in, uh, in a garlic flavor and a fig and orange. Great for spreading on crackers, baguettes, anything like that. This one here is, uh, is called a Friulano. So it starts out in a form like that, 700 gram form. Uh, a lot of people would refer to this as an Italian cheddar. Uh, but when I tried it my first time, I guess, I, I, was, I was thinking Swiss. So it would have like a, a Swiss flavoring with, uh, with that creamy texture and, uh, and somewhat like a cheddar. Carl over here is cutting up uh, what we call a Caranzola. So a lot of the market out there you see there's a brand called Cambazola. This would be our competitive brand. So it's a very mild blue cheese, creamy texture. I would probably refer to it as a beginner blue because it's so mild. It doesn't have that overpowering, overbearing taste as a lot of blue cheese does.